Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. That was very high pitched, but hi, what's up? So today I am here, obviously like the title says, to do a Kroger grocery haul. Now, if you've missed my other grocery hauls and you're in like a grocery haul mood, I just wanted to let you know at the top of this video that I have done grocery hauls from like a ton of different stores. Walmart, Publix, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods. I'm like racking my brain for all the places I've gone. Aldi. Um, so I will link that playlist down below if you wanna go check those out. Um, and I'm excited to share with you what I got today at Kroger. Now Kroger is like our main grocery store here in Nashville. It's easily accessible for us. There's a couple that are pretty close to us and they tend to have all kinds of options. Now today, we did not go to the one local to us. Um, we actually went to the one near an appointment that we had in Brentwood, which is like 25 minutes away from our house. Not that you needed to know any of that information, but I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right in. So the first thing I got are these two bags of shishito peppers. So if you have never had shishito peppers, I absolutely love them, especially when they're, um, I don't even know what the word is. I was going to say ripe, but just when they're perfect, whatever that means, they're so good. Sometimes, for example, I noticed that the shishito peppers at Trader Joe's tend to not be like the best. They're not my favorite shishito peppers, um, but I always like to give them a try when I see them because they're kind of hard to find and they're so good. So my favorite way to eat shishito peppers is to put them on a baking tray and then put olive oil and honestly just salt and pepper or garlic salt and pepper and then i just roast them in the oven at 400 and they are a great side to pretty much any meal whether you're having mexican food or italian or just like random little um what do they call that like tapas like snacks they're so good so i'm excited to roast these and i'm hoping that these are a good batch of shishitos. Next up, Dan grabbed these strawberries. I don't really have much to say about strawberries other than I love them by themselves. I love them in smoothies. I love them. Um, I've been making, or not been making, but I have made over the last couple months, a couple of times, some scone recipes that I found on Pinterest and chopping up uh, strawberries and adding white chocolate chips is so good also strawberries are great if you do like a greek yogurt parfait with like some granola and then you add the chopped strawberries or did i already say sometimes i'll just freeze them too to throw in smoothies if like i don't eat them fast enough mm. i have to say these smell perfectly ripe and amazing um i guess i'll show you right here we got a watermelon and it was a full watermelon but on the drive home it actually broke and cracked in half and this was Dan's purchase. Dan saw the watermelon and was like, oh my gosh, that watermelon looks so good. I don't really know how watermelon can like look different from the outside, but he was really attracted to it. So he grabbed it, it's seedless. And I think he's already had a couple of bites of the other half and he was like moaning over the sink. No, I know he did. And I remember him being like, mm, now we'll find out in a couple minutes if I'm allergic. Cause fun fact, that's not so fun. Dan actually struggles with, um, allergies with certain fruits and vegetables and we still haven't been able to figure out if it's the fruits and the veggies or the pesticides we're thinking it's the pesticides because when we went to mexico for our honeymoon 11 years ago crazy he was able to have a lot of the fruits and vegetables that he's normally not able to have here in the states so i don't know but i like watermelon just on the side with breakfast lunch dinner as desserts um blended up just as like a slushy i mean who doesn't love watermelon it's so good so then i got a bag of clementines same thing not that much to say sometimes i'll throw clementines in smoothies most of the time i will just have cold clementines because i always keep them in the fridge not on the counter because i think they're literally like 15 times better out of the fridge um, and I'll just have them on the side with my sandwiches or salads or after dinner if I want something sweet and I don't want to go for chocolate, which usually I want to go for chocolate, but sometimes I'll do something like this and it's just so good. Or like I mentioned, sometimes I'll even throw them in smoothies if I want like a citrus taste because I don't buy orange juice. So if I'm going to get orange flavoring in a smoothie, it's usually because I'm juicing an orange or throwing in a clementine or something like that. All right, so Dan grabbed these um, because we love them and they're amazing. And these are the Kettle brand sea salt and vinegar potato chips. And 
They are savory and amazing and light and crunchy and just so, so good. Um, whether you're snacking or they're like a side with a sandwich or something, I love this, these chips and I highly recommend um, the sea salt and vinegar from this brand, from Kettle. So I did grab a ball, or whatever you wanna call it, of mozzarella cheese because the last mozzarella cheese I bought, I went to go use it the other night and I realized it had expired a couple days earlier, which I have to say, people always ask how we eat all our food. And I think a lot of people assume that we throw a lot of stuff out, but we actually don't throw a ton of stuff out. I mean, like we throw stuff out because sometimes we can't get to it in time, but I really make an effort to either freeze things or like just eat tons of produce so we get it down before it goes bad. But that happened with the cheese and I was bummed because I wanted to make like a kind of like a caprese where I chopped up tomatoes and then I wanted to put mozzarella on top and then basil and balsamic. I made some different variation and I think I filmed it in a day in my life video, but I really wanted more mozzarella. So I picked some up so that I can hopefully do that soon or just throw in a pasta that I'm gonna make this week when my mom's in town. So mozzarella. Now you guys know that I like tuna. I don't eat a ton of tuna, but I honestly will probably eat it a couple of times a month and I keep the cans um I was gonna like describe it under my sink in my can section you didn't need to know that but I'm almost out so I picked up some of these sustainable sea chunky light tuna and water and it says 100% pole and lion caught fish caught in the north pacific of the Maldives skipjack that's what the brand is called is one of the tuna species lowest in mercury um that tends to be people's big concerns with tuna or big concern is the mercury that's in the tuna. And so this specific tuna just has like one of the lowest amounts in it. So yeah, I like tuna from time to time, whether it's on a sandwich or I showed you guys in my recent, I think it was a day in my life video. Maybe it was a what I eat in a day video, which if you don't know that, if you're just kind of getting into my videos or you haven't seen them all, um, if you're interested in my food content, I not only show my food content in my what I eat in a day videos or like my meals, but I also show them in my day in my life videos. So I just wanted to give you a heads up of that. Um, but yeah, I made a tuna melt recently that was amazing or tuna salad. I'll put it on top of like lettuce and kale and it's so good with like a da dash of balsamic at the very end. And um, yeah, I kind of alternate between this and chickpea, like garbanzo beans made into the same type of salad. So Dan and I accidentally grabbed two of the same thing. I grabbed an organic carton of blueberries and Dan grabbed a non-organic regular carton of blueberries. So we're just gonna have a lot of blueberries and I'll just end up soaking the blueberries um, in my Thieves fruit and veggie wash, especially because it's not organic. And I really feel like, and the same thing with the strawberries, the strawberries are not organic. As a generalization, I like to buy organic. Sometimes that's not possible. Um, and so it's really important to give them a good rinse. So I'm gonna let these soak in that cleaner. Yeah. So I consume mushrooms like crazy and I'm completely out of my mushrooms right now. So I picked up two cartons of organic white mushrooms. I've told you guys a million times all the things that I love doing with my mushrooms. I love sauteing them and putting them in pastas or lasagnas or sometimes with Mexican food even. I'll saute mushrooms, bell peppers, and onions and it'll be like a nice top of my Mexican bowl or my tacos, burritos, whatever. I just find all kinds of reasons to have mushrooms. So, so Dan grabbed this one avocado. We have quite a few avocados left from Costco, but he saw this one and he was like, look at how cool this avocado is. It's called King Avocado. I don't know. It's just a bigger, smoother avocado and we're especially me, I'm all about the avocado life. So he really picked this up for me. And then he also grabbed this melon, which tell me how this is a melon. So bizarre, but it's called a pepino melon. And he really wanted to give it a try. So he picked this up. Dan likes to try different, and I do too, but he'll like, go out of his way to try to find different kinds of fruits and vegetables to try. So then I grabbed two sweet potatoes. Um, I'm completely out of sweet potatoes and you guys know that I love doing sweet potatoes a couple of different ways. My favorite thing to do with sweet potatoes is to bake them and then stuff them with something. So whether that's like eggs, mushrooms, cheese, salsa, guac, Greek yogurt, quinoa, like there's a million different combinations you can do. 
or if I cube it up and maybe saute it or bake it that way. And then you have that as kind of a side, whether it's a side of a meal, like with a salad, or you just want to do a bowl with like sweet potato, once again, like quinoa or lentils or beans or hard boiled eggs, avocado, so many different options. I just truly love sweet potatoes. So got two more of those. So I also picked up some Greek yogurt and I use Greek yogurt for a lot of different things. So I don't buy sour cream. So I like Greek yogurt for tacos, burritos, like anything that I would want sour cream in, I use Greek yogurt instead. Um, I like that Greek yogurt has a higher protein content to it than sour cream does. I also like Greek yogurt sometimes to make dressings. Also, because it's unflavored, I will add it to smoothies sometimes just for an extra protein boost and to make it a little bit creamier. Oh, I love adding Greek yogurt to my chilies because like I said, it takes the place of sour cream. So adding the Greek yogurt to the chili just makes the whole chili bowl just creamier and tangy and it's delicious. Ooh, also making like, how do you say it? Tzatziki sauce with Greek yogurt and cucumber and lemon um, rot, like zest or whatever and lemon juice Ugh. and dill, it's so good. Garlic. Uh, so we also picked up two um, heads of baby broccoli. Dan loves baby broccoli. I love baby broccoli. And if you saw one of my recent Day in My Life's where Dan made this for us with our dinner, he will tend to stir fry it in like avocado oil. Oh, Zoe. Um, with lots and lots of lemon juice and salt and pepper and garlic salt. And it's honestly one of the most delicious things ever. And when we make it, when guests are over, they'll devour it so fast that sometimes we will purposefully be self selfish and wait till they leave to make the broccoli. Cause we're like, we want the broccoli all to ourselves. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so good. That's so selfish, but you know, gotta keep it real. So I also picked up a box of baby spinach. I like baby spinach for all kinds of things. I love putting it in soups. Um, sometimes at the very end, we'll just like add it into wilt or same thing with chili or if I'm making eggs, I'll throw it in at the end sometimes just to wilt it up um, or with like a burrito. I've actually even made like, if you guys, if you guys have seen me make my kale slaw, I've made spinach slaw before too, when I was kind of desperate for something green and crunchy. It was like, I'll just do the same thing with spinach. And so I chopped it up and threw it in a bowl with some lemon juice and some salt and some pepper and I just tossed it up. And it gave that same kind of effect to the food that I was eating, just that light, bright, crunchy, green taste that I was going for. And whatever I can't finish, I will just throw in a bag and put it in the freezer. I don't think you wanna freeze spinach like that long term. But for the short term, I think it works just fine. And I also like throwing spinach in my smoothies because it's one of the easiest greens to consume in a green smoothie because it's just sweet and bright and yummy. So speaking of greens, I did pick up some green kale and you guys already know, I love kale sauteed with garlic, and olive oil and lemon juice. Um, I like making kale chips, although that's a little more rare. Really recently we've been stir frying it or my favorite has been my little kale slaw. Like I mentioned with the spinach, just tons of lemon juice, olive oil, pepper, chunky sea salt. And it's so good by itself or on top of, you know, any other salads that I'm making as like an extra green or my favorite is on top of avocado toast. You guys know that my obsession with avocado toast is like borderline unhealthy, I think, but I love adding kale slaw to the top. It just takes it over the top. By the way, guys, I really am going to try to get better at the plastic bag thing. I've gotten so many comments from people not only encouraging me like, Nikki, stop using plastic, but then people have been being like, you're acknowledging our comments, seeing the comments and still using plastic. Why? And whenever I read those comments, I'm just like people, I am like trying. Dan and I talk about this and I know it seems like I'm not trying because I'm here with all this plastic. I will move that direction. There are so many things that I think are equally important in life and trying to remember, I don't know about you guys, but I literally can't remember to do 
everything overnight, to drink enough water, to take my vitamins, to do my Bible study, to do the things that I wanna do to be a good wife, to keep my house clean, to keep making content and videos and growing in that art, to keep expanding my skill in piano, to volunteering at church, to, the list goes on. I'm not literally not trying to list that out to be like, these are all my reasons. I'm listing it out because that is a direction that I wanna go because I think you guys are right about all of that. But I very often show up at the grocery store and I'm like, oh man, I forgot again. So it's on my radar. Let's put it this way. When I started playing piano, I had that piano for seven months before I started playing. And Dan would joke like, you're never gonna play. And I was like, literally, it just takes me a second sometimes to like add new things in, readjust my routine, and then continue life and growing in other ways. So that was kind of a long, like unnecessary excuse and whatever. But I also want to not only give my excuses, but I also want to encourage those of you out there that want to do good things in your life and improve upon things and learn and grow that you can, but also give yourself grace and know that you can keep moving towards something just because it hasn't happened today, if that makes sense. Um, so one of these days, guys, you're going to show up to my grocery hauls and you're going to be like, finally, Nikki, you have drastically reduced plastic use. I believe that that's going to happen. So um, we're going to move on. Dan picked up about, uh, how many is this? Six blood oranges. Um, we have both been in like a huge orange phase lately. And you guys know that if you watch all my food videos, wow, Zoe is literally like standing around the corner, just leaning over with her head watching me. This is a little weird. Do I want to show you this? I think I do. Zoe? Honestly, bless Zoe's little heart. Um, yeah, if you watch my food videos, you know we've both been in an extreme orange phase and he really likes blood oranges. So we picked up six of those. We literally just chop our oranges up eat them on the side of different meals by themselves. Like I mentioned, sometimes I will squeeze them into smoothies as my juice to give it that citrus taste. I don't make smoothies with like, really my smoothie base is water. I'm not someone that tends to make my base almond milk or juice, but I will often add a splash of one of those things if I want like a specific taste or texture added to the mix. So um, then I got two pears. These are my favorite kind of pears. I don't know what they're called, but I love them. Um, so we picked up two of these. I have a couple of pears from my last grocery haul that I haven't even eaten yet, but they're taking forever to ripen. And I mentioned in that haul that I haven't had very good luck with those pears, but that I wanted to try anyways. Well, so far my luck has been just as bad because they're still not like edible yet. Um, so I got these because I'm like, come on. I look at the pears every day and I'm like, when am I going to be able to eat you? You look so good. So hopefully I'll be consuming some kind of pear soon in life. So I showed this because I filmed a day in my life video today as well. Um, so which I was about to make another plug for my day in my life videos. If you're ever curious about like the rest of my meals, like I mentioned, or just other lifestyle stuff in general, that's really what my day in my life videos are. And I showed a clip of this when we were at Kroger because my favorite pickles that I've shown you guys over and over and over, I literally can't find them anywhere anymore. So I don't know if the company is like off the shelves or if they're just sold out, but I can't find them anywhere. So I'm really sad. So I picked up these pickles from the refrigerated section and I'm excited to try them. Dan was like, just go pick up some like regular jarred pickles. And I was like, Dan, they're not the same as refrigerated pickles because refrigerated pickles, this is bothering me. Refrigerated pickles have so much of a fresher, brighter, crunchier taste in my opinion. So I picked up these McClure pickles in the spicy flavor. Ever since I went to Israel, I like having pickles with breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks all the time. I'm all about the pickle life. And yes, a bunch of you guys commented that I should make my own pickles 100% that's something I want to try. Um, I actually want to try making sun pickles because someone recommended those and then I looked it up on Pinterest and I was like, this looks very fun. So if I do that, I will keep you guys posted. I'll probably document it in one of my day in my life videos. So yeah, I will let you guys know if these are actually good. Uh, but I love that other brand and I can't actually remember what that other brand is called but it's the best. So Dan grabbed this. I think he just saw it and he liked this pasta sauce brand. It's Rouse Homemade 
all natural premium quality Arabiata pasta sauce. And we like this brand, it's pricey, um, but we like it because the ingredients are very basic. Italian whole peel tomatoes, olive oil, onions, salt, garlic, basil, crushed red pepper, black pepper, and dried oregano. And it says it's a product of Italy, but I know there's actually a Rouse restaurant in New York. I actually think I've eaten there before. Um, but yeah, he must've just grabbed this because we can always use more pasta sauce. I don't know, but on a side note, if you've never tried this pasta sauce, it's really good. It's really good. It's my favorite, actually. So, man, Dan picked a bunch. He, like, grabbed a bunch of random things today. Um, and I'm excited. We're going to drink this tonight together. This is the this is dry, sparkling water. It says naturally flavored soda with other natural flavors in the vanilla flavor. Um, and he grabbed it off the shelf and was like, this looks interesting. Want to try it? And I was like, okay. <laughs> so... Don't really have anything to report on it other than we're gonna try this later today. And last but not least, another Dan item. He grabbed the Almond Breezed, Un Almond Breeze, Un oh, having so many hard times today, Unsweetened Vanilla Almond Milk. And he loves this stuff with Honey Nut Cheerios, which I love Honey Nut Cheerios. I just don't eat it very often, um, but Honey Nut Cheerios is the bomb. But I do use that sometimes for smoothies. Sometimes I use it in baking when a baking item calls for milk. Um, what else do I use it for? Those are pretty much, I think, the only things I really use almond milk for. Cereal, baking, smoothies. I love it. I love the almond milk taste, consistency, um, all of that. But this is both of our favorites. This specific brand and vanilla and unsweetened. It's very very good so um yeah guys that brings us to the end of this video if you liked this video and you want to see more like this please consider i always say this giving this video a thumbs up and don't forget to check out my info box not only because i will have the playlist linked of all of my other grocery hauls if you want to check them out but also if you've made it this far in the video i have been doing i keep calling them like semi-secret not so secret giveaways where i'm giving things away to you guys mostly mystery boxes full of just random lifestyle and beauty products or essential oils just to say thank you for either checking out my info box or staying all the way to the end of my video because i'm not advertising these as like giveaway it's just kind of like put in there so um i encourage you to check that out and per the usual thank you guys for all of your support i appreciate you so so much and i will hopefully see you back here very soon with another new video all right bye